Aloha and welcome back to Sailing Zero. Um, as you all know, I'm still doing kind of a lot of work here in San Diego on my refit. And in this episode, I show you how I rebuilt my holding tank. It's a shitty job in the clearest meaning of that word, but it was worth it and it came out really good. So check out th this episode. Please don't be confused about some scenes might be filmed before the last episode, some after. So this is, um, I put this episode together um, related to the topic holding tank, not related to a um, proper timeline. So um, it changes, it's a long process. It's not done within a day or two. It took a couple of weeks because I had to do work and then I had to stop it, do some other work, and you know, with all the beams and stuff. So don't be confused. You see the beams untreated or even uh, beams ready within, you know, the next scene. It's just, it's all about holding tank today. And that's where it goes. Mats up. I got the muffler out. That was kind of the reason why I'm doing it all. I mean, of course the transmission is corroded and it needs to be done. But this little piece of, I don't want to use that word. This muffler was screwed to wooden blocks which were glued in, fiberglassed in to the bottom. And for any reason, vibration or whatever it broke free and it took off a little of the fiberglass from the bilge so I had a tiny little hole and underneath that hole is my holding tank and you can imagine how that I mean what's the outcome of it is it smells yes good thing is I could smell when the tank is full the bad thing is I smell it when the tank was full. The first thing was to clean the engine room and take the inspection door from the holding tank off. Um, it looked old. I have no idea how long this is built in, uh, but I can tell you it haven't been touched for a long time. So let's try to open it. Memorize the picture how the engine room or the bilge used to look. Uh, before I started the project and afterwards. It's a big change. So here's the holding tanks with all the screws. This one is not coming off but this is the pump out. This is where all the fittings go into the tank and now I'm trying to lift all these. It's loose now and it starts smelling a bit, but I hope it's not too bad. I of course pumped out the holding tank and flushed it many times before I did that. So it should be empty or almost empty. So it's not too bad. Okay, be prepared. Everybody who's not strong enough to see that, just close your eyes. I might do it as well. This looks horrible. It doesn't smell too bad. It's actually okay. But there's lots of stuff inside there and... I mean like parts of fiberglass or wood or whatever it is. Definitely the shittiest job I ever did on this board. But I got it out. This is the hose in here, which goes to the body of the tank, and it's huge. 
They told me it's 85 gel when I bought it, and I'm pretty sure it's at least 85 gel. In fact, it's huge. Huge holding. Woohoo! Got it out! Wanna have a look? You sure? I don't want to. Holy cow, that looks so shitty. Okay, let's do it. So there's lots of crap in there which I'm going to take out. And hopefully I don't find any bad stuff. It's not so much build up in there, I'm happy. What did I think opened this box of Pandora? I mean, I must be completely crazy to do this. I could lie on the beach somewhere. Yeah, when I opened the holding tank and I found all this wood in there, um, I quickly got an explanation for that. They put a wooden layer on top of the holding tank and then glassed it over. And over time, the wood underneath just rotted away and fell down there. So I had to pick it up. I had one of these um, long tools, you just grab a tool, so you can just go in there, grab it and put it out. And I pulled it out piece by piece, which was uh, the worst part of the whole job. Um, because you can imagine the pieces weren't really clean. Um, but I had a big trash bag there and uh, I pulled it out, put it in the trash bag and put it on deck and then it was out of my sight and out of my mind. After cleaning and flushing the holding tank a couple of times yesterday with plenty of salt water and um, even a little vinegar, it looks way better than yesterday. Holy shit, that was... But I don't tell you too much about it. It's a, it was a really dirty job. But I have a huge holding tank. Man, this is just... You can go in there. If the opening would be a little bigger, you could just step in there. It's way down in the bilge, in the keel. And I think we can have a look right now, how it looks like. So I didn't want to film anything yesterday because I don't want to remember that too much. But today, I think I'll give you a little tour. Follow me. So it's 27 inch deep, which is way deeper than I ever thought it, it would be. And it looks quite nice here. Because I had these little tiny leaks in there and I wanted to put a new fiberglass layer on top of it. I, um, and after I figured out that the wood underneath is rotten away, I thought it might be better if I put a piece of G10 in. So I bought a piece of G10, cut it to the right size and glued it in. Um, I did the seams with um, fiberglass tape and made it very strong so it will last.
So everything is nice. I cleaned it all up. Everything is sanded. It's time to glue the G10 in. It turned out really good. I glue in into the new patch for the holding tank so to let the epoxy grip a little better around the screws or so they don't slip. I cut in the corner. Make it from pack to start. So this is the plate. I'm putting on this will be the side facing top I always label stuff so I don't have to think about it and make some accidental mistakes and the studs go in here will fit in here and then they stand up and to make sure that they don't spin I will glue them in with uh, epoxy and that's why I set all these um, little marks in there with the grinder so they won't spin it's it's pretty tight fitting now but some of the holes are not so tight so uh, this one for example will be way more open and it spins really really free but after I glue them in it won't spin uh, I don't want to have the studs full of epoxy so I taped them off and epoxy is mixed and now I'm going to glue all this together. Syringe. Okay, so this has to cure now a little bit. I want it thick, not solid hard, but I guess in an hour or two it should be, especially here in the sun, it should be hard enough to move them upside down so I can glue it in a bit. I'm not planning to take this thing out again. Never ever. After the epoxy was cured, I could clean it and sand it and start painting the bilge, which was actually a really good moment. That means the whole structural work, the whole, the big part of the job was done. So I was really happy to climb in there and took my paint, my brush and painted it all nicely gray with uh, 
bilge coat and it came out really good. So this is the almost ready to go holding tank um, inspection door or whatever and I'm going to seal the two pieces with former gasket and then I can just put that on it fits perfect put the nuts on and then it's done this comes on top of here so I can attach all the hoses to it and then we have here the sensor for um, my monitor so I can check how you know how full it is this will be the pump out and this is where all the um, toilet etc goes into there yeah it looks way better than before I mean this was really a shitty job I tell you but uh, I'm pretty happy with it and I think I'm glue it together right now Now we let it sit for a few moments, but we do the same on the other part as well. So I put a thin coat on the other part as well, and now I let it air dry for a few minutes. tightens them a bit so I'm not squeezing out all the former gasket so just enough that the washers are not moving anymore so there's a little pressure on it that's it so now it has cured for two days. I'm going to tighten the nuts a bit stronger, a bit more, um, to put some a bit more pressure on the gasket. I can see it squeezing out a bit more. So I'm not doing too much. It's not fully cured yet. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you could learn a little thing, a few things, um, or if you just wasn't aware of anything, how it looks a holding tank from the inside, or how you do that. Yeah, um, this is the episode four. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button and uh, follow my, my adventure. There will be a few more videos about uh, boat projects. Um, there's some video coming about the transmission and there are videos coming about uh, water plumbing and electricity and all the stuff. So yeah, stay tuned, hit the sus subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment if you like and uh, stay in touch. Also, 
check out the uh, social media on Facebook, Instagram um, to see. This is a bit more actual. The videos are still a bit behind. Uh, I'm coming closer to, to um, the actual time, but it's still a little bit behind. And social media is way more um, on the point. So if there's something really, um, some actual news, it, they will be on Facebook and uh, Instagram. So check it out. Some nice pics over there. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.